So in today's video, I already curated more Greenville buildings in Minecraft. Now before I do start this video, everyone, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already, guys. It will be greatly appreciated, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So you guys may ask, what have I actually added to the collection? So first thing I actually did, or the first two things that I actually did was I added two new buildings. So these two places is the farm that is kind of down that area next to Fox Mountain bank and the second area is the twist now i will admit the twist does look a bit like bad in a way uh, i really struggled making it i actually did try making it for part one a while ago but i just couldn't do it but i tried my best to attempt it this time i just don't think i got it that correctly though i might try and remodel it in the future but yeah that's probably the best you guys are going to get for now but then on top of those two new buildings i actually did give some of the buildings interiors including the twist and i also gave burger whores and subway interiors as well now, I have not yet given the uh, the dealership interiors, but that will be coming very soon, hopefully. I just thought that was a much bigger project to work on, and since I'm kind of on a time crunch right here, I didn't really want to, you know, spend all my time working on that. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get straight into Minecraft. Alrighty, so we have now arrived here in Minecraft, and as you guys can see, uh, the twist doesn't look the best. It more or less looks like a church, in my opinion, than the, than the actual twist. Uh, yeah, it's not very good looking. I'd say the interior is a little bit more accurate uh, than the actual outside of the building. I mean, the interior is not too good either. Honestly, I do feel like this entire building as a whole just kind of flops. Uh, which I do apologize for. I tried my best with the skills I have. Uh, however, I will probably be trying to remodel this sometime in the future as I do feel like this like roof or this, yeah, this roof like points up way too high and this part right here is a little bit too long. But yeah, uh, it's not very good. Like, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm pretty, I was pretty disappointed with how it actually turned out. It looks pretty amateur and stuff like that. But yeah, hopefully I'll be able to remodel it sometime in the future. And then right here we have the farm area, which I am a little bit more impressed with. It's not the greatest either. It is missing some slight details, but it's not bad. It's not as bad as the twist was. Um, as you can see, we have the uh, two tank thingies right here. I don't really know what you call them. Uh, and then we have like the dirt patch right here where you can drive up to. And you also have the fences with the cows in it. Uh, but this in this version, they actually move, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then you also have the barn right here, which doesn't have a major interior, to be honest. It's just pretty basic. But it's not bad, though, to be honest. It's it's pretty cool, I'd say. Um, but yeah, I will probably be doing some minor upgrades to this, like putting up the, uh, the windmill thingy as well behind here. Uh, so I need to extend out the dirt patch a little bit behind there and stuff like that. But apart from that, it's actually not too bad, and it's a lot better in comparison into the twist and then obviously we still have the dealership here which i have not actually worked on the interior yet but i will be getting to that hopefully soon and then right here we are back at subway again so this is honestly easily my favorite or one of my favorite buildings that i've made i mean the dealership is also one of my favorite because it looks pretty accurate to the one in game but i also do like the subway the subway isn't as that at least the outside isn't that accurate to game to end game but it looks really really cool in my opinion and i actually quite like it and how it, i do quite like how it turned out but anyways if we go inside here as you guys can see we do now have an interior so it's nothing major but in game they do have all the seats and stuff like kind of on this side and this is all kind of just mainly a walking area with some like you know plants and stuff like that around the place then you also have the desk where you, you get served and stuff like that um and yeah, since this is Minecraft, I couldn't put much major detail into the building. However, it's not terrible. Uh, and then also you can go out here. I don't, I don't have, I didn't have enough room to actually put all the back rooms in and stuff like that. So that's why it looks like this. But it's not really that bad to be honest. And you can kind of imagine that this door would usually go into those back rooms. So it's pretty cool. But yeah, I was actually pretty impressed with how this turned out. But tell me what you guys think in the comments below. And now if we go over here to Burger Hors, this one also isn't too bad. I actually did quite like how this turned out to be honest it actually wasn't that bad to be honest uh but yeah anyways i have finally added an interior to this thing as well it's not as decked out it's a little bit inaccurate to the one in game to be honest i mean we do have the drive through there we do have the desk where you can serve people and we do also have the tables and chairs however we do not have the tables and chairs down this side and stuff like that because as you guys can see the building is quite heavily scaled down this was mainly just to like you know uh 
make it a lot quicker to build and stuff like that but i am planning to remodel a lot of these buildings at some time in the future so then i can kind of get more accurate representations of what they look like in greenville into minecraft but this is kind of, this what this entire project is kind of just to see like to test how well i can actually scale buildings like gr like greenville's buildings into minecraft i guess but yeah i will be uh editing some of these in the future though so yeah uh anyways if you guys did happen to enjoy this video though again please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and yeah anyways guys that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video so yeah see you later guys and goodbye <laughs>